Cello Unlocked. This is lesson four of my Beginner Basics series. In this lesson, I'm going to be talking about how to hold the cello. So first things first, we've got to get your posture right. So, feet flat on the ground. Knees need to be about hip width apart. Your back needs to be straight and your shoulder blades need to be flat on your back, so not poking out. Your shoulders also need to be nice and relaxed. A good posture is really important for cello playing because it means you don't have any tension problems, you don't get sore, and you can play the cello for longer. So let's pick up the instrument. What you need to do first is take out your spike. So make sure that you tighten the spike really well so when you go to play the cello, the cello doesn't slip back down. I have my spike about 30 centimeters out in length, but it really depends on how tall you are and where you want the cello to sit. As a good guiding point, when you go to place the cello between your knees, the back corners of the body of the instrument here are sitting just above my knee. Make sure that your knees are secure on either side of the instrument. This stops it from wobbling around when you go to play. The other thing you need to be sure of is that your fingerboard and your scroll is on this side of your body, the left hand side. You may also need a thing called a cello stopper if your floor is slippery. This is what it looks like. What you do with these things is you place them flat on the ground where your spike would normally go and you place the spike in the middle of the cello stopper. This stops it from slipping around when you're playing. So that's it for lesson four. Next lesson we're going to be looking at how to tune your cello. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe below. Thanks for watching!